Hey everybody, wanted to work with the 360 flashers a little bit more, the Super Series from Short Bus there. One of the questions that we receive is how fast do I go to make these work? What speed do I need to be going? I hate to give the answer of there's not necessarily a speed. What you're looking for is you're looking for movement in the rod. The easiest, the easiest answer if you're new to this is you're looking for a one beat per second. What that means is if you watch the tip of your rod after you put the 360 flashers down, you want that rod tip to move about one time per second. Is that the same? Is that the correct color or the correct speed every single time? No, not really. There's sometimes there where you can barely even see the tip move, but just realize that they are still working underwater there. It's still giving the action. It's just not moving as fast. You need to vary it up sometimes there. Um, sometimes you want a little bit quicker than one, one beat per second. Sometimes you want to go just as slow as you possibly can. The fish are going to tell you what's going to work on there. The biggest thing is if you watch, you can put it just barely underwater though, you'll see that these will start rotating if you have if you have enough speed there. You need just enough to get them to start working from there, then you experiment up and down. The biggest changes that you can do is going to be the leader length on the front side of it there called the bumper. Again, I like to use the 24 inch for the majority on my boat there. You can do 18s, 30s, or whatever size you want to. The 200 pound leaders are pre-made here that we have. Um, again, 24 is my normal there. What that does is it gives a 360 an approximate three foot round swing on there. That's gonna give your spinners, your super baits, whatever you're using behind it, that action there. You want it to start moving around, giving the giving a little bit more enticement to the, to the steelhead or the salmon that you're fishing for. With the 360 flashers, they are probably the most finicky things you're gonna have out. Um, the problem with the fin flashers there, it, at a certain point, if you have too much drag on the back, if you go too big of a spinner, then it won't move. That's why we designed the 4.0 to, to just go to the 4.0 size. That's as big as we felt comfortable to still let the 360 flashers roll over, do what they're supposed to, but still let it get that extra thump. Over that, what happens is there's so much drag, it lays these flat, they just pull along like a straight flasher and just kind of wobble a little bit, which isn't what you're looking for. So if you use a, a bait, a herring, a sardine, anything that you use, um, you want to make sure that you're, you're not adding too much drag so that these, the 360 flashers are gonna work for you. The size of the roll is gonna vary again. The longer the leash, the more, the, lo the wider roll you're gonna get up to a point. I've went out with a couple people that said that four feet is the answer there. I watched over the side of the rail, watching it underwater there. I couldn't tell that much of a difference on size of the swing there. It was the confidence level of the captain that day, so I went along with it there. We did catch fish, but again, if you get too long of a leader there, it's harder to net the fish just because you can only reel up so much. That fish has a longer longer reach. The Whoever's doing the netting job just has to go a little bit more. Again, that's why I do the 24 inch. 30 inches is about the max that we usually use on my boat. Um, that's gonna get it up to about a three and a half foot swing. Again, the, the speed of it there at a certain point, it just can't make that full rotation over there over it's not gonna get any any wider of a circle, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So the bumper on the front there, again, that's gonna give you how big of a roll you're going to. An 18 inch liter give you an approximately two to two and a half foot circumference circle. The 24 inch is approximately three foot. The 30 inch about three and a half feet on there. Over that, I just can't tell onto there, but again, use at your own discretion there. The length from the flasher back to your spinner, your baits, whatever you're doing. Think kokanee, sometimes they're right on top of the flasher there. Um, 18 inches is about as close as we get there, up to about four feet. The closer that you are to the flasher as it moves, the more action you're gonna get in the spinner, your bait, whatever it is. The further back there, the less motion that that is going to be moving in and out. But again, watch the rod tip there. If it's moving at all, just know that that flasher is still working down below. If it stops throbbing there, whoever's on that rod needs to reel it up there. Could be just a small piece of, of seaweed, a branch, whatever, hooked onto your hooks there that's just causing, again, that too much drag to not let them work. Keep your eye on it there. But again, one beat per second is a good starting point there. Experiment though, see what works for, for your area, sometimes slower, sometimes faster once that water heats up there. But that's all the fun of giving these a try there is the experimenting and what works in yours. Shoot us a comment there if you have any questions on, 
on how to rig these there. Go to shortbestflashers.com for your flashers, spinners, and any needs like that. And also take a look at your local sporting stores. Thank you very much.